Hey carnivores, today we're going to be making these delectable, luscious, succulent, blue cheese, butter and garlic oysters on the grill. Stick around, I'll show you how I do it. Hey carnivores, welcome to Eat More Vegans. My name is Al uh, and hopefully you've figured out by now that this is not a vegan cooking channel. It's a channel where I cook vegans like grass and grain fed beef and pigs that ate corn and of course Oysters are vegans, they eat algae. So uh, we're gonna make some vegan oysters today in a way that you guys are gonna be really excited about. This is my own recipe. You have loved my Drago's recipe. You love my Acme Oyster House recipe. You've watched those tens of thousands of times. So now I'm gonna share my own recipe for blue cheese flame grilled oysters. So let's go ahead and jump right in and we're gonna start by making our basting sauce. So I've got here a metal measuring cup that we're gonna put right on the grill and we're gonna heat up this compound butter. So let's go ahead and get some ingredients in it. So I'm gonna start with a tablespoon of black pepper, half a tablespoon of paprika, half a tablespoon of ancho chili powder, and I've got five cloves of garlic that I'm gonna crush. Now I'm gonna juice one lemon. Now we're gonna chop some fresh rosemary leaves. I'm just gonna remove them from the stalk here. If you haven't seen this knife before, uh, this is the Dahlstrong Guardian. It's part of the Gladiator series. I love this knife for chopping vegetables because it moves my hand right over top of the vegetables as opposed to how I have to work with a standard chef's knife. It gives me a lot more control. I'll put a link to this uh, and the other stuff you're seeing here in the description. And then we're gonna grab some thyme leaves. All right, and a little bit of onion. All right, now we're gonna take a half of a brick, four ounces of unsalted butter. I like uh, Kerrygold, but you can use any unsalted butter here. And now, the piece de resistance. So this is a Rogue Creamery Smoky Blue Cheese. And a little shout out to Marky, the cheese manager at the local Wegmans grocery store here where I shop near Raleigh, North Carolina for uh, turning me onto this stuff. Really something special. So we're gonna put this right in there. There we go. Now that doesn't look like much, but when we put this on the grill, it's all gonna melt down and become delicious and uh, really have a great impact on those oysters. So let's set this on the side. All right, and finally, we're gonna chop some green onions. We want the base here of these green onions. We'll save these for later. Okay, it's oyster time. Let's talk oysters. So I'm gonna put an apron on here because chucking oysters is a messy job. Uh, plus, if you guys didn't know that I'm the dude with the food, now, now you know, right? Okay, so these are Barrier Island oysters from Virginia. So let's start by talking about what makes a good oyster for grilling. So let's open these up and take a look at a couple of them. Okay, so this one here, you see how it's got kind of a shallow cup, doesn't come all the way across? This isn't gonna be great for grilling, right? Because it's gonna sit cockeyed, the liquor inside is gonna run out, it's not gonna sit right. So uh, we're, not gonna, we're not gonna do this one. But if I look at, uh, let's find another one. Well, look at this one. So it's a nice deep cup that goes all the way across uh, from one side to the other. This is gonna be uh, perfect for grilling. So let's start by shucking this one. So first, uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna get some uh, protection on here. We always practice safe shucking here on Eat More Vegan. So I'm gonna start with a glove liner that's a cup-proof glove liner. Uh, if you don't have anything like this, I'll put a link for this on Amazon as well so you can get it. And then I'll put my nitrile glove on and then I have an oyster shucking towel, again, that's gonna be cut resistant. And if you've ever shucked oysters before uh, and you've stabbed yourself in the palm of the hand, you will appreciate the effort that I'm taking. So I'm gonna put the oyster in my left hand and notice that I've got the joint here on the side with the oyster knife. Now, oyster knives, by the way, are not sharp. Uh, this is just pointed so that I can get underneath, but it's meant so that I'm not gonna really hurt myself if I slip. So I'm gonna put the tip right into the joint here, and I'm just gonna rock back and forth while I push in, and then the top is gonna to come up. And like in this case, the top cracked, that's no big deal, that happens sometimes. 
There we go. And then I'm gonna wipe any sediment off here and I'm gonna scoop with my knife underneath the oyster, separate the mussel. Notice I've kept the liquid in there, that's called the liquor. And I'm gonna set this right here on this tray. And the reason I use this tray is because they'll sit a little bit nicer on this tray uh, than they would if I just set them uh, flat on the grill. So we're gonna put this whole tray right on the grill. All right, let me go ahead and uh, shuck the rest of these. I'll be right back. All right, so I got the first eight shucked. These are ready to go. The smoker's up to temperature. I'll meet you at the grill. Hey, welcome to the backyard. If you've been here before, you recognize Darth, the extra large big green egg right over my right shoulder here. Darth is running at 500 degrees exactly. Temperatures being controlled with the thermal work signals and billows, even in a direct heat setup. So let me get this butter blue cheese sauce on the grill to start melting, and then I'll tell you the rest of the program. Okay, while that butter and blue cheese and all that wonderful flavor melts down, uh, I'm gonna tell you about our cooking program so that when it comes time to cook, you can just watch and you don't have to listen to me talk. So I'm gonna put these oysters right on the rack onto the grill and it's gonna take about two minutes for the heat, that direct heat underneath, to start to boil the liquor, the liquid that's right in here. And as soon as we see that happen, I'm gonna take that blue cheese butter liquid and I'm gonna just fill these up, pour this over, and then it's gonna take about another two minutes for that to start to brown and be ready. And then I will pull them off. I'll throw some of these uh, green onions on as a garnish and they'll be ready to taste. Enjoy. I hope that was as much fun for you to watch as it was for me to cook. And uh, I know you guys are feeling left out because you can't taste, but that's okay, because I'll save one of these for you. Uh, hey, if you've been here before, you're used to seeing my daughter, Leah, uh, here at the tasting. She's not here today. She had to go to the dentist and she had a tooth pulled. And I, I know, aw, right? But uh, I get to eat all of these and I'll, uh, I'll make more for her tomorrow when she's feeling better. So let's see how we did here. I'm gonna take this one right here. Oh boy. All right, this is better than last time I did it. And I gotta tell you, the blue cheese, especially that smoked blue cheese, thanks again, Marky from Wegmans for turning me onto that, really makes a difference with this. The oysters poached in their own liquor, really a great way to go. Hey, if you enjoyed this, check out this video right here. This is where I made Acme Oyster House's recipe. And uh, if you've already seen that one, check out this one down here where I did Drago's recipe. Got lots of grilled oysters on the channel. We'll see you next time on Eat More Vegans.